Smokey was the last one to take a game off of him here in this venue, and that was a while back. Ever since uh, Stengel started winning, that is. All right, so game one to Yoshi's story. Now, uh, like we were saying, or like I was saying earlier, the Falcon's job is to capitalize in the corner, much like that, real big stomp to start off the game, and uh, not let Falco deploy his lasers. But the Falco mix up with that is if a um, found an FD are best for spaces, neutral stadium for Falcon transformations, broken for spaces. Neutral stadium, good for Falcon. Transformation, for broken spaces, okay. Brog dropped the game to P squared. Okay, get Brian on commentary. I don't know where he is. Um, Dave almost lost it. Well, Dave's Fox almost lost to P2. He JV Ford him with a uh, sheet. So, as I get back into it, it's uh, it's the Falcon's responsibility to hold the corners and, and do good work there, not let him laser. And uh, the Falco mix up there is instead to back air up tilt and occasionally down air, but that can get beaten out by Falcon's in air in terms of spacing. So, it becomes a keep away game, as many of Falcon's matchups are, like playing against Falcon. It's really keep away. Not letting him in because he's such a volatile, deadly character. Oh, goes in with the forwarder. You don't really want to approach that way as uh, as Falco unless you're under the coverage of a laser. And not a high laser at that. Okay, recovery situation. Yeah, Falcon, I mean, that's also where the matchup, like, equalizes. Is when Falcon has a spacey offstage, there's a hell of a lot he can do. He pulled the trigger a little early there. That should have hit. Um... And, and Goon capitalizes right away. So instead of being up 3-1, to one, Clem Clementine in an even stock situation, but stomp me real fast. Uh, getting him out of there. So here come the lasers. Clem Clementine not really closing the space, but respecting the laser nair, which eventually did come. Hops for no jump. That was actually a really risky spot. If Clem reacted, he could have just run off and stomped him, and that probably would have been the game, to be honest. Falco up B, not that long in length. Only good for using his mix-ups, and when you're down there, there's no mix-ups! Drop zone knee, guaranteed. Still hype, though. And, uh, that was actually super nice because he caught him from, uh, DI away. So he actually grabbed him from under the center of the platform-ish, reacted the DI away, and just rocketed himself off the stage, sprinted full head-on into a beautiful knee in the lower left corner of, uh, Yoshi's I didn't look, but I actually don't know who died first. Because Falcon against Fox, drop zone knee, Falcon dies first. So if you're in a last stock situation and you're playing Falcon, don't do that unless you want to embarrass your friend because you technically lost. So game two to Battlefield. This is Goon's counter pick, and I must say I do not agree whatsoever. FD most likely taken off by Clem Clementine. It is a best of three. Chum's asking for you, by the way. Um, it says get that Brian commentary. Joining Scar, the Scar ripoff. The Scar ripoff is uh, Brian. What's good? You play Ice Climbers, okay? You play <laughs> the lamest character in Melee. I'm actually really disappointed that Goon is kind of getting wrecked right now because he's definitely better than he's performing. Yeah. Like, I, like he's not really good, but he's like pretty decent. But he play. He's playing against Captain Falcon, the champion, the emblem, the bearer of the people. Carries them with dude, his heart, Mike, I his hate integrity, you, dude. Can, the yo, reeds. Can you leave and just take Nino back here and I can talk to Nino? Can we talk about how I wasn't doing this at all until you decided to bring it up? <laughs> you wanna, you just I know, be a I'm kidding, man. Fuck. We're, uh, we're, dude, I'm always being a little fucked. Apparently, uh, Jimmy Flag today's stream is 18 and up, so if you feel, I can curse now. feel the need to curse, you can go right at it. So how do you feel about Fox Ices as a matchup? Fucking impossible. Dude. There it, it is. To kill myself. There it is. 18 <laughs> dude, and up, ladies you, and gentlemen. You knew exactly what I was gonna say, dude. I know. I just we need to we need to make sure it's working. You know, we need to make sure the 18 plus uh, filter is working. P2 got a game off my Sheik today. Oh okay. Oh, he played Sheik against him. Yeah, I'm so, trying to I'm trying to go all Sheik. So he said he's been working on that matchup. Yeah, he had some really cool he had some really cool setups and stuff. He got me like with a double thunder, which probably wasn't a combo, but at the very least it was like a like pretty good mix up. Him, him and uh, Scott, I have Sonar, both Pokemon mains, both usually bringing new things to new matchups uh, every time they play. Yeah, dude. <laughs> every, time I, every, every time I play Sonar, I need to commentate the map. I don't care. He's freaking he's, he's Pokemon, uh, he's Pokemon player. It's just Pokemon two Pokemon player. fighting each other, dude. Yeah, it's just two trophies going at it. What do you want, man? <laughs> I mean, Clem has got this. Okay. Oh! oh! He's still got it in him. Guaranteed. 
Yo, but we Falcon, still love it. Falcon's still lame as shit, dude. Oh, the dash Falcon's can't tamper himself. still lame. Holding the Pittsburgh Kitties, if you want to call them that, are gone. They Most of them left Tuesday. Actually, today. To uh, return 2-0 to Cleveland.